So, it, yeah, I was wrong in the previous recording sessions, and that's, I thought it was not necessary. Okay, it's probably something going to jump me again. So I'm keeping the shotgun out. Okay, uh, the thing I was... Oh, this place is... Mm, well, nice. Yeah, I'm challenging, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this kind of fits with what I was uh, planning to talk about instead of the combat system. Or the aiming system, whatever. Uh... Okay. First off, be careful with the water. It's it's not a safe haven because there's a shark, uh, a crocodile down there. Okay. Yeah, it's a crocodile. Rock's big brother. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Come on, Laura. Whew. Okay, I really don't want to uh, kill that crocodile because it takes quite a lot of ammunition and thus time. Not that I uh, need to worry about ammunition with these two. Oh, ooh, ooh. that was uh, a bit on the edge, literally. Okay, next challenge is over this. Whoa. Okay, I don't. I think it's like uh, if you stand on this ledge, you also get damaged by the plane. Uh, where to go, where to go, where to go, where to go, where to go. This? Nope. And yeah, now the croc is chasing me, Laura. Nice. Cowards. <clears throat> okay, back to what I was saying was kind of appropriate to uh, being this area, and that is that was what I wanted to talk about my let's play of you know, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, which I've put on hold for quite some time. Where the heck do I need to go? Fire's trying to hurt. I think there's a switch underneath the water or something. Yeah, with the uh, Legend of Zelda you know, Phantom Hourglass, I I had gotten to the first uh, dungeon, not not counting the uh, <clears throat> well, I'm just not going into detail because it's not a let's play and such. I should concentrate on this. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I finished the first dungeon with that the fire temple, and. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, put, I have had that on hold for quite a long time, but I've catched up to where I was, and I will probably make a recording of that soon, but I have a bit of a problem when it comes to commentating that. Uh, this time, let's take a good look around. I, need to, I know I need to jump that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, I've lost the, the program I used to uh, watch the, uh, uh, my recordings of that, uh, the Core Video Studio. Uh, oh, there's a switch. So yeah, I will have, have to kill the crocodile if I want to do this safely. Uh, the program I'm used to watch uh, my footage and uh, commentate over it, uh, I've lost. I'll, I'll, I'll take a good look around if I can find it. Um, yeah, but it, oh, whoa. <laughs> why the heck did it take? Okay, so for some reason the crocodile took a lot shorter to kill this time. Uh, so yeah, I, I'll need to find the program I used to uh, commentate over my uh, post-commentary let's plays because I need to see what's going on, of course, unless someone else can tell me some you know, trick or so that I could use with some program. Uh, but yeah, <coughs> until I find a solution to that, the uh, let's play will remain on hold. And now that I've talked about almost all my let's plays that, that are going on, or should be going on at the moment, uh, I'm, I think, I'm thinking about cancelling uh, Ghost Squad, because it's not the best quality. <laughs> and yeah, whoa. Whoa, that was quite a bit of damage. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, cancel or stopping with that let's play. Uh, because of the uh, low amount of quality and because it would just be repeating the same three stages over and over again just with small uh, side passages so I'm, I'm going to stop uh, cancel that uh, let's play and I'll need to go back down uh, I'll prob I might just uh, make an yeah, I'm thinking about maybe getting a dazzle recorder for the Wii and such uh, sometime in the future, not the near future. Uh, then I'll probably make. Oh, I'm out of small met meta packs. Then I'll make uh, a good let's play of, uh, of Ghost Squads. But until then, I'm keeping. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, keep away from the. We let's plays for some time, and yeah, that's about all to talk about for that. <coughs> yeah, sorry, I'm not talk about much about the game, even though I should be completely concentrating on that. Uh, let's see. And yeah, 
And that ledge looks grabbable, so I'm thinking about jumping towards it and climbing up. And it's not grabbable. Well, it probably is grabbable, but not from this side. Maybe that'll just jump me there. Maybe the killer thing. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> That's a bit on a not. Well, not that noticeable. Uh, going to risk jumping up. Yes. Whoa, even being there, it hurts a bit. I uh, need a better place to jump up. Sucks. Oh. And there we go. <laughs> Luckily, this one isn't active. Okay, now a combination of pillars. Quickly go up. And try not to get fried. Okay, there we go. Still a hit. Hurt a bit. And this is going to hurt. Yes, but not that much. Okay, now just jump backwards. Because that doesn't go anywhere. And done. Another lead bar. And this should be... Yeah, this is the final one. One was already in place. We found two before. And that was number three, aka the four. The last one. So let's get out of this place. And uh, yeah, we should run into a checkpoint on the, when we get back to Midas. And then I can show uh, something new, uh, some people are probably been waiting for <laughs> we can do. And that is the uh, Midas Touch death. Oh, I've forgotten about the stupid gorilla showing up. Okay, come on, come on for a ball. Oh, nice. And there we go. Yeah, that really got me off guard there. Okay, checkpoint. And not not to waste time, let's just go directly to the death. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty gruesome being turned you know, turned to stone. Yeah, there was a, a uh, there was uh, uh, an article on I believe GamesRadar.com about uh, or, or was it a top ten or so? Well, there was at least an article about gruesome deaths in retro games, and uh, yeah, that death was you know, that death from the original Tomb Raider was in there, and I don't need to go up. I need to go and get down here, place the last bar, and remove the last obstacle. So now we can continue on. I have no idea in which video we are right now, and I missed a relic. Okay, nothing unlocked. Uh, yes, let's make a save. And I, yeah, don't back to name these, so I, it's easier for me to know where to go if I screw up a recording. Though I'll we'll probably speed them up a bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, directly a branching, um, not a branching path. One way and two dead my way. <coughs> yeah, I'm pressing the E button yeah, over and over again, but I honestly have to say it doesn't feel like uh, doing that makes that big of a difference. Certainly not if you get into dead ends like this. And there we go, drowned. Okay. So now I need to. F or I just completely overlooked something there. Or I went. Oh, oh. Let's take another look right down here. That leads to nowhere. That leads to nowhere. This time I'll just use medkits when I lower starts drowning. Anything up here? No. Anything over there? Seems yeah, it continues on. Or is that the same place as it's going? Yes, it seems like it. Okay, where's that frick Oh I thought that was the ceiling. Ugh. Nice going going. Well this is at least this middle a uh, middle a uh, stopping point. So where to now? This place is obviously no uh, not not the way. Okay. Uh, let's try this one way, or I might just be going backwards. Uh, no, I'm not going backwards. That's new. 
Okay. Tomb of Tihokan. Okay. So we're. I think we're back uh, almost to the end of this level. Whoa. As a, yeah. <laughs> ah, come on, Laura. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there's mice down there. It's pretty obvious what I need to do here. Well, not not mice, rats. So, get this done. Uh, put it upright so I can pull the lever. Since Laura can't really hang from this one over here. Come on. It's getting stuck on that. Yeah, oh, it's going around that thing. And there we go. It was just on the edge of it. <coughs> okay then. Here. Oh, I was more expecting a s stairs, but okay. A bit over. Oh no, we're not even close to the end. <laughs> ah, this is an, well, a big area, that's for sure. Okay, Pierre, where the heck are you? Yeah, that's pretty hard. That was pretty hard to hear, even for me. Let's see, what does this thing again? Oh, it raises the water. Yeah, this place will prob probably take me quite a while. I'm thinking a, a whole recording session of its own. Uh, and, yeah, the... The water level doesn't really come into play until well until we until we get down. It ha once again has to do with the rafts, similar to the Poseidon um, uh, trial, in that we can't reach the exit. But uh, we c if we can get a raft near the exit, we can and uh, we can leave. It's over there, and the raft is down there with two crocodiles. Uh, let's see. Yeah, after the... Whoa! Okay. <laughs> when I'm done with this area, I'm going to make test runs of the... Uh, uh, <coughs> of the next areas when they come up. Uh, <coughs> uh, so I don't have waste all the, uh, that much time. Okay, where the heck do we? What the heck do we need to jump to? That ring over there. We'll see. Oh, yes, one up here. Okay then. And whoa, almost missed. Ammo, which I. Oh, mini SMG ammo. Well, uh, once again, not a gun we will get for quite some time. It's still nice to get. Yeah, the missi mini SMGs are quite awesome. Uh, let's see, where do I need to drop? Oh, uh, don't need to drop at all. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we're at. Mm, now I really can't say how uh, good I am doing with this, and this the exit, of course, as I said, out of reach. Okay. Oh yeah, this thing we needs to get get out. Of, you know, <laughs> needs to get removed. So this place is more accessible. Why? Not really sure at the moment, but it has to do with the raft. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Crocs waiting for us down there. And the block, well, that crate didn't make a safe landing point. Ah, stupid. Come on, I'm gonna make a pair of leather shoes out of you. Oh no, uh, Laura doesn't wear shoes, she, she wears boots. Okay, let's try and take these guys out. They'll dive, I believe, when you start attacking them, and it seems, yeah, the water 
cushion is, well, the water prevents you from attacking. I think, yeah, this thing needs to go into the water. 